All right, anyways, with this shut down, we're going to swap from our clone here to our Mbutu one, which is, oh, which is still plugged into the computer. Uh, if you're, I've watched any of my earlier videos, uh, bring that down a little bit. Uh, this did finally finish, and I haven't even bothered to take it out yet, so let's do that now. Uh, there we go. Safe to remove. Okay, and here is our uh, newly built Ubuntu drive. Actually, you know what? There's one more step. Um, I guess I can go over this again because I actually forgot that I did them out of order before. So what we will need to do is on the F drive, we're just going to add those scripts again. Let me put this down so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Um, I did this in the earlier video, but we're going to do this again real quick because I did out of order. Games, Xbox One. Yep. Actually, just one. Okay, so we're going to open this into uh, 7 zip, extract, and we're going to extract it right onto F here. Done. So now on the F drive, we have those scripts. Now, uh, this process that we're going to do now, we're not actually going to use those scripts. This is, uh, we're going to actually use something called G parted. And that will be to actually resize our drives, uh, resize our partitions so that we can make use of the extra space we have. All right, there we go. All right, so we have our Ubuntu drive. All right, we're gonna come back down here. Now, um, back down to the laptop. Now we only need the two terabyte drive. We don't need the 500 gigabyte drive anymore. So I'm actually gonna just disconnect this for now. That way, there's no risk involved with even messing with this drive anymore. Uh, I personally give my old drives back to the customer. Uh, I don't hold on to them. That way, they're actually kind of just purchasing a drive. So you get the old drive back. So if you ever have a problem in the in the future with your new drive, you still have another drive to fall back on, that kind of thing. Um, but here we go. All right, so we are now going to put in... Our other flash drive, where the heck I put it? Oh, here it is, it's right in front here. Okay, our Ubuntu drive. We just literally put it there. And same sort of thing as before. We'll boot up. On my laptop, we can hit F12 to kind of get some options here. Okay, again, I'm gonna use the UEFI. It turns out that wasn't a problem before with uh, Clonezilla. Uh, but this gives us the menu right away. So we're going to try Ubuntu without installing. So that's important. You don't want to actually install Ubuntu anywhere. We don't have anywhere to install it anyways. But we basically want to take advantage of the Linux operating system without actually installing it. So when you're going from a regular drive to a large 2 terabyte drive, this is pretty much the second step. So first you clone it, and then you resize the partitions. Boot up here in a second. There we go. It actually boots pretty fast. All right, so let me see if I can get the whole screen so you guys can see it here. All right, so for the resize, the only program we need is G parted. So we're just going to do G parted. And uh, if you ever used Ubuntu before, I forget what this interface is called, but we just click the search, and here's the guy we need. Okay, so what this complaint here is that uh, we basically have a drive that's larger than the partition. Since we did a clone, it essentially set up the two terabyte drive as a 500 gigabyte drive in terms of the way that it allocated the space. Um, so we actually do want to fix it because we want to uh, make use of the extra blocks. So we're going to click fix. And there we go. So now you can see we have all of our partitions as before. Uh, I might have mentioned before, depending on what order you watch the videos in, but there's uh, always five partitions. And all our data should be there. This this won't actually show how much is used. I, I, or it will. Used, unused. So you can see all the data is still intact. You'll especially see that when we're done this process and put it on the Xbox One, which will be our last video here. Okay, so I usually do this in two steps. Now, the, the partition we're trying to grow is the user content partition. Right now you can see it's, it's only 365 gigs. 
but by the time we're done here it'll be 1.7 uh, terabytes in order to do that though we need to put this unallocated space here's our 1.3 extra now and we got to make that uh, or put that directly behind user content so in order to do that we have to move these partitions so we'll start by system update 2 okay all right so I don't remember this happening either but apparently what has happened when it booted the drive it automatically mounted them all so in order to change them basically basically what that means is each partition is already being used so now we should be able to click them yeah now we can resize them I, I we want to basically go through each one here we want to unmount them all because in order to resize them they can't be mounted mounting means um, to have it usable so we can copy files back and forth unmounted means that the partitions there we just can't use it okay so that's a new one on me all right so now what we got to do is we're going to move these last three to change where the allocated space goes so here we go we're going to take this last partition here and we're going to say move resize move and ba this is pretty straightforward basically what we want to do is um take all the free space following the partition and zero it out and then when we click this first one here it'll move it up okay so we'll say resize and it's gonna you know tell you that moving a partition is dangerous make sure you have it backed up uh, I've never really had a problem with it moving a partition and then it not working properly and besides that if we did ever corrupt them or something happened to these partitions we still have our existing 500 gigabyte drive to draw from all right, so we're going to go to the next partition, do the same thing. We're going to click move resize, change the space following to zero, click the top, click resize move. Complains again, no problem. And we're going to do our third partition here. Again, change this to zero. And click the top one here. I'm going to say resize. All right, so there we go. So now we can see our unallocated area is directly behind our user content area, which is exactly what we wanted. So the final step will be to basically just increase that partition using the unallocated space. And also, uh, it hasn't done anything yet. Basically, we tell it what we want to do, and then when we're ready to do it, we come up here and we hit this little check mark here, and that'll apply it. Uh, I usually do it in two steps because if I if we do the space increase, I do, it won't allow us. I'll kind of show you what I mean here. So if we do um, we, this one, we're going to resize instead of actually uh, move. Let's see, this might make a liar out of me, but so basically we want to resize this, not move it, and we want zero zero. The problem I've had with this, let's see if it works. I don't know if you saw that. So the problem I usually have with that, let's just go back to the user content here. Click resize move. All right, well, actually, that was uh, pretty good. All right, so we'll do them all in one shot. Sometimes what I find is that uh, the free space following, you want these to all be zero. You want to use basically everything you can. And uh, what sometimes happens is uh, it doesn't do that. There'll be some unallocated space in between the user content and the uh, and, and the actual uh, system update partition. So there we go. So I just uh, increased as you can see everything. So we got three pending changes here. We got move. And uh, we've got the grow operation there. The last one, you can see what the end result will be. We're going to go from 365 gigabytes to 1.7 terabytes. Pretty nice. Okay, so we should be able to apply all this. And in so doing, we will have a larger drive. And it says uh, editing partitions has potential cause of data loss. Again, we don't really care because we already have, we still have the source. And honestly, we should be fine. Now this process takes a while again. So it took about, I wanna say it took about two hours to actually clone the drive. And now to move everything around, um, it takes a while. It's not, it's not two hours, but I wanna say it's probably a good half hour. So right now we're moving the last partition, which is the smallest, it's only six gigabytes. It's only gonna take a minute. So let's just watch that one finish. Um, yeah, at least I can show you that much. 
but we'll let this finish and then we'll move to the uh and what we'll do is we'll just stop the video and we'll come back when it's done. In fact, we'll come back when it's done and then uh, actually install it into the system and boot it up and show you the new size. Uh, what's cool is you should be able to compare that with the uh, first video and everything should pretty much look the same with the exception of the storage size, as you might expect. Um, this looks like this is going to take a while. So I only come back if I run into a problem along the way, if I get an error, which... Uh, Again, I, uh, with the exception of trying to upgrade a four terabyte drive, I've never actually had this fail. Um, what did happen with the four terabyte drive is when I got to the step and I tried to move those last three partitions all the way to the end, the program would close after it had done the first move. Um, and then I'd have to reopen the program and do, uh, apply the process again. So G parted as well as Xbox One did not really like that four terabyte drive it didn't like moving partitions beyond the two terabyte portion of the drive i know i keep kind of hopping on that that thing and you don't really care because we're trying to do a two terabyte drive but just for people who are interested in trying to go more than two terabytes internally uh i wish you the best of luck but i, I haven't personally had any luck with it and it seems to be an issue with the tool that we're resizing with as well as the system itself the uh the xbox one itself but uh, so it's not something that I don't think we can easily overcome or can be overcome without some sort of future thing there. And there you go. Anyways, you can see at the top, it kind of kind of gives us a view of uh, what's changing there. And you can see all that free space is the lighter color there on the center drive. But basically, you can see, you can see uh, how much larger that partition is now than the other four. Anyways. All right, so we'll come back when this is finished, and then I'll take the drive over, we'll re reinstall it in the system and boot it up, and I'll do all that live, so if we have any problems with anything, uh, you'll get to see it. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so the actual uh, process of moving the partitions and increasing the second partition size is completed. Uh, what's kind of cool about G Parted is it actually gives you a time frame, shows you how long it takes, uh, the whole process took which is about 35 minutes. Um, it's funny, the most important bit, which was to actually grow the second partition only took about seven seconds. But uh, that makes sense because when you're increasing a partition size, it's actually not as complicated because you don't actually need to move any files. Whereas uh, moving the partitions mean you have to move the files. Basically you create a new partition, move all the files over, then delete the old one. Anyways, uh, so we're done. So we basically have a um, two terabyte drive that should work. Uh, which we're going to do now. We're going to actually give that a try. So uh, here, I'm going <clears> to <throat> close the windows here. And it looks like it refreshes. And we're going to shut down Gparted. And we're actually going to, I'll make sure you can actually see, I'm actually going to power down in Bluetooth here. Um, because essentially we're done. And that way too, instead of just disconnecting the drive, we'll shut the computer off completely. So when we disconnect, um, everything is um, all powered down. And it says remove any medium, press enter. So we'll just hit enter and we're off.